there there is a huge huge demand there is a huge demand for uh, health uh, policy and systems research both by the union government as well as uh, for the states as of now one of the major concerns is the uh, inequalities in health that uh, for those who can afford we have world class health services available and uh, for those who cannot then even basics are uh, at a premium and they really uh, you know suffer avoidable uh, deaths and disability as a result if you treat for example pneumonia in a child but don't bother about the tobacco consuming habit of the father and recognize that much of the domestic money is going into the tobacco habit and is the child is going to continue to be undernourished and therefore susceptible to fresh infections you are turning a blind eye to the problem on the one hand there is a vast public health care system in this country there are huge problems there are a lot of issues involved in that but generating evidence by the no domestic researchers a very poor Twenty selected candidates from across the country come together for the first time to participate in a course on health policy and systems research. Yeah, I uh, in the Department of Health and Family Welfare. Postdoctoral in uh, geography. A biomedical scientist. I am a surgeon. MD in community medicine, then diploma in maternal and child health. I am a public health professional. I work for an uh, NGO. I am doing my PhD. Masters in public health. Uh, BSc biotechnology and then uh, healthcare management. Public health professional. Trained geographer. Graduation in dental sciences. Thereafter, I have done my masters in public health. Masters in health sciences. A medical doctor by training, and I have done my research masters from Netherlands. Assistant director of health services. in a national vector bond disease control program phd candidate senior research fellow so we'll go around we'll discover each other this is the launch of the keystone initiative the first course of its kind in india now what is already known what is waiting to be discovered i think that's the kind of tension uh, all of us if we subscribe in some way to the field of research we have to be comfortable with the idea of not knowing because then otherwise if you already know then there's no point of doing the research uh, so uh, i i over the next 10 days a multidisciplinary faculty introduces these fellows to an array of approaches to investigate the complex realities of health systems and policies um they also play out in communities and in social institutions so whether this is you know uh, the educational system whether it is the legal system you know whether it is medicine gender plays itself out uh, in in many different ways should we have more skilled staff uh, to provide services or should we hire less skilled staff but give them more supervision the extent of information asymmetry is too huge in the case of health sector and this leads to what is called as a principal agent relationship so this understanding how decisions get made why decisions get made who makes decisions that is the heart of policy analysis okay types of the need for skilled researchers is immense the immediate aim is to encourage each fellow to develop a question by the end of the course to engage with and investigate in their practice in the initial years after independence a lot was uh, invested in building a large public health infrastructure starting from the primary care level and over the years the investment has stagnated and has not 
not only not kept pace with the uh, increasing demands but actually declined and uh, the the keystone initiative began with the realization of the complex nature of health systems and their intrinsic two-way connection with policy making the two basic ingredients of hpsr adequate number of health policy and system researchers to address the country's needs to find solutions to the real real world problems given the magnitude of our health challenges and the importance of creating policies and programs which are relevant and responsive to these health system challenges if we do not have adequate capacity for multidisciplinary research which can be problem solving solution finding barrier breaking and can advance the public health agenda of this country then we will be in great difficulty the mainstream universities and uh, they do not produce enough researchers uh, who are who will be interested in doing public health research and since it is an interdisciplinary research uh um, uh the, the disciplines like economic sociology anthropology etc people should come from that but that was not happening and importantly is the capacity of doing a certain kind of research people are trained in a particular way they know how to make a routine proposal they know how to make a funding proposal and they know how to make that routine way of looking at certain questions and answering them not necessarily in the same way which may actually help transforming the system leveraging change in the system so the knowledge the way it is produced is also important and for producing that knowledge you need a certain kind of capacity that is missing and then we were very fortunate to have these conversations with a wider group of people there were about 10 or 12 institutions we knew were active in teaching health systems research in india uh, so we started some conversations with them and we found that they were all very supportive and very enthusiastic so we realized that you know we are on to something that there's something here that we need to kind of uh, uh, tap into and they have resulted actually in programs that you are all somewhat familiar with right so let's split into small groups and i would like you to uh, uh, it need not be agent all the time it can be even thus begins the story of a multidisciplinary course organized by the public health foundation of india in collaboration with 12 other public health institutions with expertise in health policy and systems research all these years there hasn't been adequate attention given to the development of health policy and systems research many of our public health courses have been doing epidemiological kind of research training so we invited uh, you know some of these senior colleagues of ours to a meeting and you know there was a lot of enthusiasm in fact we talked to people in 12 institutions and not a single one said no each one of them came for this meeting uh, and i think there's a sort of a shared understanding that we all want to do something together for the country and also for building this important field and as researchers when we enter a community I think all of us are I think clear enough to understand ki that this romantic nature of community no community doesn't exist it is a fractured deeply fractured community that is there now in this situation when i say that i am working with the community who is that who represents the community to me it's good that we have got uh, the entire uh, national knowledge community on health policy and systems research together who are collectively working uh, to create uh, these uh, young budding researchers and i'm sure over a period of time we'll be able to create a good pool of health policy and system researchers the other thing uh, uh, the first test was the coming together of the faculty itself we cannot shy away from complexity because most important problems in the world are representing complex systems and we need to deal with those complex systems by bringing in again the breadth of knowledge from multiple disciplines asking several questions and getting those answers together into one matrix there was a lot of dialogue uh, between all of us actually each one of us practices a fairly different uh, discipline or rather an approach in hpsr 
and uh, there is usually when this happens there is usually scope for some tension you know okay is my i think there was enough of space at the same time enough of guidance on you know making sure you are within the broad framework and anything that was a very good very I, and i really enjoyed that balance so what we found very often is that we planned something and then we what we got was actually something more than what we planned the consortium idea with which we started that it is not phfi only but all the other organizations major organizations which are which are some are in academia some are in civil society some are in um, government so we wanted to bring all these people together and that consortium is a success they made us all feel part of the common platform and i think that's a very important starting point and i, I think that boards well for sustainability because you have so many people being part of the process so from the time of making decisions about what the shape the course would take uh what the curriculum would be who the faculty would be to uh getting together a core committee that looked at and a very careful selection process that involved more than just the hub people i think they they were able to put in an environment where we can all bring in our own disciplinary backgrounds and try and integrate that into the curriculum that's i think part of the idea of having a community you know the uh, is, is really all about that uh what happened is more than a sum of the parts they've ne it's never felt like it's theirs alone and i think that's a big tribute there's a common thread running through the course we've actually developed a set of what we call health system problems so we developed six of them based on lot of meetings and talks and so on and how we doing it is that we use those six problems in all our teaching i don't know whether it's chance or whether it's um, design but um, somehow it's uh, seemed like a very smooth process in fact it is admitting in a concrete way that your class your caste your gender your nationality your positions in groups your sexuality there are many things that make you ultimately ask a research question or think about what you want to explore it is how you frame and put that now the acid test however was its reception by the fellows with so many innovations coming in this is what is actually needed since i'll be looking after a project it is going to help me a lot in the monitoring and evaluation of things it would uh, give me an idea about how do i frame the questions it has given me some inputs about uh, how policy should be looked out uh, looked up how i can uh, further uh, work on research related to this uh, policies and all and in some of the discussions you sort of get to understand uh why things that seemed earlier to you like a simple solution and why people aren't doing it what the thinking behind uh you know and what the challenges that they are facing so i think that for me has been a good learning this course has completely transformed my understanding of what is health policy and system research you know it starts from the policy making goes up to the asa asa level at a village level of village of 1000 people population you can do the health system research there as well as you can do health system and policy and system research at national you know policy making now i'm really motivated for doing phd this has come at the right time to help me i mean think in a more constructive way in a more scientific way uh, the faculty is very fantastic uh, group of faculty and uh, each student uh, each fellow was assigned to a facilitator i think that's a very good idea it's not only refreshed me but i think the new dimensions has been added i am getting conceptual uh, things from uh, this course and it is like linking my knowledge and my practice you know it is a bridge between uh, these two so i was expecting that from the course also it's been so many students scaling up across jharkhand so now they are in three states in jharkhand and odisha and madhya pradesh so even while they were looking at the effectiveness of rolling this out through self help groups in a larger context they were able to take it across three states and that's an interesting way of looking at implementation and this hybrid method is also one way of studying implementation Ten days fly by a community is beginning to emerge over the last couple of days i've met people and talked to them and realized that uh, there've been initiatives that 
we could have easily le learned from and they were surprised that we were doing something similar. Conversations that happen over tea, over coffee, then over after dinner. I think that's also a very important component of this program that has helped me to touch back. I feel that uh, they will be, be helping me in doing my research. Somebody who has worked as a program implementer for five years and two, three, so 15 years I would need to go and work as an implementer, then only I will come to know in my individual capacity. But when I am having with those people for 10 days, that too in a residence, we definitely get some of their experience and the knowledge transmission does work. It also provides a platform for us to get together and understand who are the other people that work within here and how do we uh, interact with them on a more, uh, you know, sustained long-term basis because each one of us I think comes from a different place, a different area uh, and uh, we wouldn't have otherwise had the opportunity to possibly interact with each other. One of the most unique components of this presentation was this idea of developing a network of people working in tribal areas and it had a real idea of, kind of creating a movement and I think that was really a key component. So it's knowledge translation in the context of a bit of activism. Whose position are we taking here? When we are asking this question, from whose position are you asking this question? And again, that comes back to the idea of knowledge translation as well. The person whose position we are asking the question from will be the one interested in the results. The fellows inch towards their question with the support of the mentors. From the inaugural edition, you cannot expect, uh, you know, how the future is shaped. But you know, the foundations of the future, we are seeing, you know, it is shaped properly here. Uh, idea was to create uh, enough people who are interested in health systems research in the country by creating uh, a critical number of people who are looking at this issue or continue to do the research. We hope that there will be more research and when there is more research, there is, it is definitely possible that some of it will get uh, absorbed into the health system. Therefore, health system makes some corrections and you know, which will get necessary inputs for it to uh, change its course if it is required. Yes. Uh, the way the faculty has come together is really exceptional and the way they have delivered each of them on their individual uh, uh, you know, capsules and their individual modules, uh, the level at which they have motivated themselves and become part of the faculty community as well. Uh, it's uh, been a huge uh, revelation in some ways actually. The, at the end of the day, the fellows feel they have learned something and they feel like they have they, become individuals who can contribute usefully from their learning. Then I think a lot of what we wanted to achieve will have been achieved. We start the straight. Uh, the first presentation is under the four minutes or five minutes kind of discussions on that. Uh, any three questions? Please. So um, I call upon uh, Aparna Manohar, uh, the first presentation. The problem area that I seek to work on is the gaps in utilization of uh, services related to non communicable diseases across both public and private sectors in rural Tanjavur. Analyzing the decentralized planning and role of political will under the National Health Mission Bihar. Understanding the modified policy of medicine procurement and distribution system in Maharashtra. So I am proposing a research study here to understand the relationship between the quality of administration in a public health system and its influence and, and the relationship between the, the administration and the other building blocks. To understand the complexity in decision making in health department at the state level in Bihar, they will launch the zero prescription policy. The Asha to ARM opportunities and challenges. Look into the facts, what, uh, what are needed with convergence and how it is actually uh, impeding or enhanced TD care. Uh, four hours of optimal implementation of travel and action plan. Now, for My study is about uh, integration of leprosy control services uh, in the state of Bihar. How does fragmentation of maternal and child health services in government facilities in urban manner affect or shape users and providers' experience? 
proposed study on communitization of health centers and its impact on uh, health healthcare deliveries. What is the flexibility that we are actually providing states under the National Health Mission? Scheme called the Rajiv Gandhi given the Yaru Yojana. Understand the process of accepting development in health. My experience in the past, past five years. Uh, Interpreting health systems and its capacity to respond to the problem of undernutrition at a district level. The Keystone course thus comes to an end. Each fellow is now armed with a question to work upon, a community of fellows and mentors to connect with, and multiple ways of exploring the health system. I believe that science discovers, technology develops, and public health delivers. It's a good beginning, and uh, those who are trained in this, they, I hope they go to their states and take up similar initiatives at the state level. We need to further build upon bringing a closer partnership with the governments so that <clears throat> policy questions relevant to various state governments get researched and uh, they get the necessary answers. Uh, once the fellows who have attended this uh, initiative uh, and the different institutions that have been part of the partnership, once they get enthused uh, and once they get activated and they feel supported, then maybe they might want to replicate Keystone in different settings. So that way we can gradually expand our base while retaining a very high quality of uh, the delivery of the course uh, and in some ways uh, that may enable us to uh, actually take it to scale. When a beam of light strikes a prism and when it comes out, it's actually a rainbow of colors. So I think I come with one beam of light, but I'm sure the experience I gain out of it will be a broad range of colors and I can put it out in whatever way, everywhere. Yeah.